I'm here at HPE Discover with Brian Bassand, and one of the things that I have come to know is that something happened where HPE sent portions of the Helion OpenStack world to SUSE. Sure. Sure, and that's, that's one of those things we get a lot of questions about, actually, so a great, great thing to kind of touch on here. Um, we did enter into a, a partnership and agreement of sorts with SUSE where they're going to do uh, the development work around what is Helion OpenStack. So we've moved our IP there and our talent over there, and they're now working with SUSE. Um, and then we're going to continue to sell Helion OpenStack as our OpenStack distro and continue to wrap that in our services and implementation and consulting and all that kind of discovery and really interesting work around how do we help customers be successful with that. So when you look at it, it really makes a lot of sense uh, from an efficiency standpoint to centralize open source development around OpenStack and in one organization, centralize the consulting and the implementation and support in another and have that kind of symbiotic healthy relationship between the two of us. And being a big customer of SUSE now, we can kind of go back to them and help with the roadmap and make sure that our, our customers, our collective customers, are getting what they need in the end. So how does that, how does that change the way that um HPE is thinking about OpenStack. I mean, now are you essentially a, a reseller of SUSE's product, or what does that look like? Uh, what it really looks like, it, it's it's less of an emphasis on the product itself. You know, if, if we're selling it when we engineered it, if we're selling it when SUSE engineered it, um, at the end, the customer is still getting what they need out of that OpenStack product. We're really focusing on the services implementation of that. So. You know, what is it that you, you know, what do you think your desired end state really is? How do we help you get there? What are the steps we need to take? How do we get OpenStack up and running and healthy and happy in your environment? Um, you're still dealing directly with HPE for purchasing the software, purchasing the hardware, purchasing the services that go around that. So for our customer, not much really changes. And, and your question was, you know, what, what changes for HPE? Again, really not much. Our end goal is still the same of providing our customer with a you know, for lack of a better term, a full stack solution from the most basic bare metal component to the most advanced consulting services. Fair enough. Shifting gears a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we've got Synergy's been out in the market for a little while. Sure, sure. There's talk of new stack here. Yeah. How does cloud systems still fit into the overall ecosystem? Sure. So. Uh, all of these products that you see kind of wrap around this, this concept that we've called our multi-cloud strategy. We know our customers have some virtualization in-house. We know they have some legacy applications that aren't going to get rewritten. They don't know how to rewrite. They're going to keep running. We know they've got some public cloud, you know, whether they know it, whether they like it or not. They need some kind of hybrid management layer that, that goes on top of that. So that's the vision that we've been talking about when we talk about cloud system. That still does that, continues to deliver on that. Uh, and then we've been talking about Project Newstack, which is a, a very similar strategy, but it is a, a hosted service for that sort of thing. And um, really, it, it's, there's different use cases, there's different kind of roadmaps based on what the customer wants to do, but both just deliver on that same strategy. So it kind of feels like, you know, we had one product and now we have another product. It, it's more about the way customers architect their multi-cloud environments and how they're successful in what we know to be that reality looking forward. Fair enough. Thanks, Brian. Sure, thank you.